do it. So we're doing an intro for Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper, Sweet, Sweet Chicken, Chicken Baby. Baby. Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper. We are coming to you from Zeal Cigar over in Phoenix, Scottsdale area. And uh, was just chit-chatting with Bradley and his right-hand man and uh, trying out a little cigar for them. Kind of a Maduro, Habano, Esteli, Nicaragua tobacco. And it is exactly what I was looking for. I was wanting something with a dark wrapper, but a kind of a sweet, sweet undertone. So cool. Yeah, so this is their nice, nice lounge. <coughs> so anyways, I'm in uh, Phoenix. I'm going to admit that I'm a bit of a bonehead sometimes. Um, me and my family, my brothers, my brothers and my dad, every year we go to Barrett Jackson Auto Auction. And so uh, I came up here. Was supposed to be my brother flying in from California. Well, he flies in next weekend. So a Barrett Jackson auto auction ticket is for two weekends. Normally we go on the second one, but the second one you can't get into the auction area. So um, I thought, oh, we'll be going to the first one. Well, we got our wires crossed, 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 and. Uh, Hmm, very nice. Brad just threw this at me and said, smoke it and let me know what you, you think of it. And it is really good cigar. Love the flavors. Um, anyways, so, you know, I, I'm, I was supposed to be here because I got a brother that's in the hospital so this morning I was able to go to the hospital, spend a few hours with him, which was excellent. Lifted both of our spirits. I was able to see him know he's doing, you know, he's recovering. And, and then uh, my sister, who just lives down the street from Pops, he, uh, they're, they're moving to Montana. So they had just sold their place. They're, they're moving this weekend to Montana. And so it would be like, who knows when I'm going to ever be up to Montana or they're going to get down here. So too cool. Tonight we're going to be able to have dinner with them. So that's going to be sweet. So it's not like it's a loss, you know, and uh, it's, I just wasn't planning on driving to Phoenix on back-to-back -back weekends. But it's not a bad drive. About six and a half hours to Pop's place. I will lose an hour going back to El Paso. I'll leave tomorrow morning. Wow, I'm really enjoying this cigar. I don't know if this is gonna be one of their house blends. They didn't tell me. They just said, we don't wanna tell you what it is. Just smoke it and let us know what you think. So, but it's exactly what I was looking for. I wanted a dark wrapper with uh, some Nicaraguan tobacco. Excellent, excellent. All right, guys, listen, I'm just gonna keep it short. I'm gonna be here for a little bit, but um, I need to get some videos done. Right now, I think there's Armchair Piper, Flat Cat Piper, Lady Fire, Bass Piper, Oh, good night. There's Dallas, Full Doddles. Oh, I just, they just get away from me. So we'll see uh, how many of those I can knock out. The problem is, is I don't remember all the questions on uh, full on, on Flat Cap and, and Lady Fire. And I think it's Ed Armchair Piper that wants to know how your smoking day routine is. So maybe I'll throw that on right now. So uh, we'll just kind of do a Zeal Cigar slash Ed Armchair Piper Gaw. 
basically my day starts out on the patio every morning with usually a Connecticut uh, cigar um, and a black coffee with honey in it. And I use a local honey that is grown there in the El Paso area, El Paso County, mainly for allergy reasons. Um, and it's really helped. I've been doing that probably for years plus. And it seems to really help when allergy season comes around, around just eating local honey. Um, about the time I get done with that, I go in, kick up the computer, start working on a project, and I load usually my first bowl. So, um, hey, how are you? Good, how are you? So I'll load my first bowl, and usually it'll be something like, um, oh, God, I don't know, um, vanilla roll cake or vanilla roll cake with dark fire lately. So that's pretty much uh, what I've been smoking. Sometimes I'll grab uh, an Escudo or one of the other jars that I have, uh, Kamoy's number seven, um, a London Flake, and I'll smoke maybe a couple bowls and then it'll be lunchtime. And usually at lunchtime, I just grab a, a quick uh, protein shake and uh, then I'm looking for something like this and I'll smoke a smaller cigar and pair it with a Dr. Pepper. And uh, then I head back into the office and uh, I light up another pipe. So uh, I'll light up a pipe and uh, again, usually the same tobacco. And I usually have tobacco already, like those coins, vanilla roll cake coins and all that. I always, uh, I tear them apart. Um, I find that they, they, there's a better smoke and there's not as many relights as using the coins. So, um, yeah, and then um, at that point, I'll usually smoke my pipe up to the time I quit, give or take 536. And uh, usually in the warmer days, when the days are longer, Sometimes I'll go out for an evening cigar, uh, but mainly it's a sandwich deal. It's cigar, pipe, cigar, pipe. So, and again, usually if I'm smoking a cigar, I'm drinking a Dr. Pepper, or I'm having, if it's a Connecticut, I'm having uh, coffee and tea. So I hope, Ed, that uh, does it for you. But uh, appreciate what you do, Ed, and congratulations on your anniversary, bro. Uh, love what you do, man. Love your channel. Mel Harris. Oops. Garbage Man Piper saying, sweet chicken, baby. Y'all be safe.